So I realized I need to get better at just filming myself again. I've been waiting for these perfect moments to show up that uh, in my life really just don't exist anymore. So if I want to make some more videos, I need to just start filming. And that's what this is. Perfectionism. It's a very real thing that I struggle with and creating things that aren't perfect. But the reality is the difference between that last kind of perfect 10% and the first 90% is good enough. I've frequently been asked what's the best way to go about starting uh, to get into making videos. I think this is it. Go in the you just, kitchen. You just gotta start making videos. Take me out to the ball game. The reality is once you start filming, nobody's really gonna watch your films except for your family and friends anyways, so you might as well just start and see what happens. Okay, let's go. I think there's a tendency to uh, want your next creation to be your big masterpiece. And generally, that's not the way it works. You know, there's incremental steps always. Perfect, Jude. Hey. Oh, mom's home. Hey, mom, we're just going to hey. school. Boy, that sun still hasn't even risen yet, hey? Maybe it's just cloudy. Don't forget your mitts. Here's her backpack. Okay, I love you, Jude. Have a good day. Say I love you to Layla from me. Ah, my favorite part of the day. I know that for myself, these uh, perfectionist moments, they show up because I only film myself when I'm doing something really cool, kind of beyond the ordinary. When in fact, it's the average everyday normal life that we're gonna look back and really wanna see at the end of the day when we look in the future. Oh, hi! <laughs> hi. <laughs> the point is, when it comes to skill acquisition, learning a new skill, in my case, filmmaking and telling stories, doing it every single day is going to work better than waiting for the perfect time. The perfect time never comes, so if you're doing it every day, at least you're still making small incremental steps towards that skill. I gotta say, the hardest thing about acquiring a new skill or working on a new skill is really just like focusing on that skill and deciding that's what you wanna do. I mean, we are living in the age of distractions. Just in my office right now, I got electric guitar, I got drums, I got video games, I got all of these distractions just waiting to take my time away from the skills that I actually wanna work on. So I've just found it handy to have a schedule that I stick to and uh, because it's a priority, regardless of whether I'm working or whatnot, I try to get in my 15 minutes, half hour, whatever I can of that skill. The other thing is about when learning a new skill or working on a skill is generally it's not as fun as doing something you already know how to do. So diligence is also a big part of it, but uh, I've just found like 
scheduling that just makes it a lot easier because then you can you don't have to think about that it's like choosing to wear the same clothes every day so you don't have to make that decision in the morning it's already scheduled you know you got to do it and so then you'll just do it and if it's something that you decide you no longer care about well then you revise your plan and you get a new one because i love you don't smoke If only you knew how many times I've shot this sequence and talked to the camera in order to say what I wanted to say. The beauty of editing your own thoughts into one thing. Anyways, these are, these are some of the thoughts that I've been thinking about my life and how to incrementally step towards the things that I want to get better at. And that's just kind of uh, where my interests are right now. On a side note though, I would like to say thank you to everyone who reached out to me uh, for my last video about quitting one of my own habits that I've had for a long time and I was really quite overwhelmed with uh, the support that I got from you so I, I just really like to wholeheartedly say thank you and uh, you know I'm not gonna let you down I'm at uh, I don't know day seven or something now starting to have these really intense vivid dreams um, which makes the whole thing successful in my book just from that just uh, improving my sleep cycle because everything just rolls downhill from there so yeah thanks again for that and uh, you know this is it for this video so I'll see you on the next video peace see ya I saw you looking at my shirt. No, no, your service. Just in time for Christmas, I got this on January 6th. Great work, sweater printing company. Right on time. I'm still gonna wear it every day. <laughs>